Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about a very important topic potential energy. I personally feel that this topic is misunderstood by many of us. Let us try to understand the concept of potential energy by few examples. Here you have two substances A and B. Let us assume they are attracting each other. You can call these two as positive and negative charges. You can call this as the north pole of one magnet and you can call this as the south pole of the other magnet or simply you can consider that these two are bodies who are attracting one another. You can also call this as an earth, this is an apple because they are also attracting one another. In the other situation, there is a body A and there is a body B who are repelling one another. These two objects, they are attracting one another so they want to stay as near as possible they can so they if you don't do anything then a and b would like to stay at a very very small distance apart from one another now here if you want to understand about the potential energy then there has to be a person who is doing work in this situation let us understand that external agent who is doing the work on these two objects is me myself. Now what am I doing is I want these two bodies as far as possible and the distance between them as far as possible. So I am going to exert the force in this direction. So if I want to bring them apart these, this should be the direction of my force. So they want to come nearer and I want to bring them apart. So in this process, I am exerting a force against the force of attraction. So the work done by me in bringing these two objects apart is what is going to be stored in this body in form of potential energy. So in situation one, I have brought these two bodies at this distance let us call this distance as r1 by exerting a force in this direction make sure that these two objects wanted to come nearer and their force was like this and i was exerting a force in this direction so when i exerted a force opposite to their forces and i brought them here then i was tired by some amount so the work done by me against the force of attraction was stored in this system in form of potential energy. Okay. Now, in second case, the distance between the bodies were increased. That was R2. I exerted the force in this direction and brought them at a very large distance. Still, they were attracting. So I did the work against their force of attraction and brought them at a very far away distance. So the work done by me in this case is very large compared to the work done by me in the, up, in the case number one. So this system is going to have larger potential energy stored in it and this, pot, this system is going to have less potential energy stored in it. So let us recapitulate what we have done till now. So there are two objects which are attracting. So they want to be like this, but I am exerting a force in the opposite direction. So the work done by, by me during this process got stored in the system in form of potential energy. So more you exert the force and more you bring them apart, more is the potential energy stored in the system. So if two bodies are attracting and at a larger distance they are, more is the potential energy. The very fine application of this is solids, liquids and gases. In solids, the particles are very, very near. In liquids, the particles are at comparatively larger distance and in 
gases the particles are at very large distance here also the atoms are attracting here also the atoms are getting attracted here also the atoms are getting attracted but as we discuss that farther they are if the force of attraction if there is a force of attraction between two bodies but farther they are more is the potential energy so in this case the gases are going to have highest potential energy because even though the atoms are attracting but the atoms are at a very far away distance so that means the potential energy of the gases is highest and solids is the lowest we come to the next case here these two atoms they don't want to come nearer they want to be as much far away as they can so if i want to bring them nearer i have to exert the force in inward direction and bring them nearer so in in first case i will bring them nearer such that the distance between them is r1 so i exerted a force like this in these two objects whereas these two objects wanted to repel so the work done by me against the force of repulsion is stored inside the system in form of potential energy in case 2 i exerted a larger amount of force and brought them very near to each other this distance is r2 my force was in this direction these objects were repelling one another so the work done by me in this situation w1 in this situation w2 so the work done by me in this situation is very large because i exerted too much of force and brought them very near and the direction of my force was against their force of repulsion so i got tired very much in bringing these two atoms nearer so the work done in case number 2 is greater than work done in case number 1 so the more is the work done against the force more is the potential energy stored in the system so when two objects are attracting farther they are more is the potential energy when two objects are repelling nearer they are more is the potential energy let us continue the discussion of potential energy on the next sheet here there is earth and suppose at a height h1 there is a satellite now this satellite and this earth are both attracting one another so higher this satellite is more is the work done by us against the force of repulsion to bring it over here so more is the height more is the work done against the force of attraction so if this is position number 1 this is position number 2 so the potential energy in situation number 2 is larger than potential energy in situation number 1 you can also consider this by an example of apple if you leave the apple the apple goes towards the ground that means there is a force of attraction between the apple and the ground so more higher the apple is more is the work done by us against the force of attraction to separate the apple so more higher the apple is more is the potential energy let us consider a next case in which there is a nucleus and these are the orbits let us consider an electron in this orbit this is first orbit this is second orbit this is the third orbit let us consider two electrons was first in orbit number 2 second in orbit number 3 there is a force of repulsion sorry there is a force of attraction between this electron as well as this uh, positive nucleus and there is also an attraction between this positive nucleus and the electron over here but since this electron is near to this nucleus and this nucle 
this electron is very far away from the nucleus. So, as we have discussed in the previous sheet that if the substances are attracting one another, but farther they are more is the potential energy. So, this electron is going to have more potential energy compared to this electron. You might assume like this that when the universe was forming, there were only positive nucleus and many electrons like this and all the nucleus and all the electrons wanted to be as near as the electron. So, all the electrons wanted to be very near to the nucleus, thus decreasing their potential energy and less is the potential energy, more stable the system is. Everybody wants to be stable, so everybody wants to lower their energy. So, all the electrons, they want to be very near to the nucleus. But during the formation of universe, there were some invisible forces which arranged the electrons in different orbits like this. So, the work done by that invisible force in putting the electron over here and here was deciding the potential energy. So, the work done by that invisible force in keeping an electron over here was less and the work done in keeping the electron in the next orbit was larger because the separation is less. So, the potential energy is less and if the separation is large that means potential energy is large.